Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Vikas Nera, and in today's video, we'll talk about Mail in a Box Mail Server and install it on Ubuntu. This is the easiest mail server to set up, requiring only a few commands to install instead of many complex ones. First, you'll need to install Ubuntu. I'll be using Ubuntu 18, but you can use a more recent version as well. The minimum requirement is 2GB RAM. You can check the full requirements on their website. After that, you'll need to get a BPS with at least 425MB of RAM. There's a list of recommended providers given here, along with affiliate links. Using these links will help support me a little. Before we begin, if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel yet, please do so. I've previously covered iRedmail and other mail servers. You can watch those videos as well. In the future, I'll be posting many more videos related to email marketing, so please subscribe to my YouTube channel. In this video, we'll be using this domain, and the DPS we'll use is from DigitalOcean. I've already created a droplet here. As you can see, I'm using Ubuntu 18, and I've copied its IP and password here. The username is root by default, and the password is the one provided. First, open your terminal and log into your BPS. Enter your IP here and click open. Then, simply copy and paste the password. Now you've logged in as root. The first thing you need to do is update the name servers. Updating the name servers will save you from having to enter DKIM or SPF records manually. I've already done this, but you should do it like this, ns1.box, followed by your domain. And similarly, ns2.box. You need to update the name servers like this, and the blue record comes free. If you are using GoDaddy, in GoDaddy, there's a hosting field where you need to put in as1.box and point both of them to your IP. Namecheap is also simple. You can add a blue record here which means you can point this name server to your IP, because this IP is the IP of your BPS. After pointing it, as I've shown in the screenshot here, use this command to set the name server. You need to paste it here. Replace your domain name here and run this command. I'll do this now. I've copied and pasted my domain and pressed enter. After that, I'll run the second command. Copy and paste it. It's very simple. You just need to run a few commands and your mail server will be installed. Next, to install mail in a box, you need to run this command. Copy it. Let it complete, and then we'll run the next command. It's been installed now. Now, enter the command for installing mail in a box. Run it. It's being installed now. You don't have to do anything else, just copy and paste these commands. I've shown all the steps here through screenshots. After running this command, you'll see something like this. There, you'll need to enter an email address. You can use info or admin before the at symbol, or choose whatever you prefer. What you'll see next, I've explained through screenshots, so you can follow those steps. 
Now your mail in a box is being installed. After this, it will ask you for some information like email. You'll need to fill that in here. It looks like this, you don't need to do anything else. You just need to press enter, and then it's asking for an email here. Like me, I'll change it to info here. I'll enter info at followed by my domain name and press enter. After that, it will ask for the host name. It's entered by default here because I had already run this command. Look, I've explained everything here with screenshots. After that, press enter. Then it asks about the time zone. Ours is Asia, so I'll scroll up here. Now you need to select and enter your specific time zone. I'll select Kolkata because our time zone is Kolkata. Find Kolkata here and press enter. Our time zone has been selected. Now the installation has started. After some installation steps, it will ask for the password for the email you set up. You'll need to enter the password you want to use for this email here. I've explained all the steps here, showing what it will ask you next. I've shown in the video how to complete these steps. After that, let the installation process finish, then. Continue with the video. Finally, it asks for your password for the info at your domain email. Copy this and paste it here. You need to enter it again and press enter. This is for the email address you'll use to log into your account. Now the installation is complete. After this, you need to log into its dashboard. To access the mail in a box dashboard, you need to enter your host name followed by slash admin. I'll open a private tab here and enter my domain, then log in. Once you log in, you need to go to Advanced here, click Proceed to, and then log in. I've entered this here. Enter your info, verify the domain, and sign in. Once you do this, it will show you a system status here, indicating whether your DNS has been configured correctly. All these details will be shown to you in the system status. If your name server is fully updated, it will show us checked here. Otherwise, it will be checked. If you haven't set up reverse DNS, it will be unchecked. In DigitalOcean, for reverse DNS, the host name should match the name of the droplet you've created. Your host name should be the same. When you go to networking here, there's a PTR record here. These things, which are RDNS, are automatically. Pulled from the droplet name. The droplet name should be the same as your host name. This will automatically become your RDNS. After that, I've explained the next steps through screenshots, so make sure to check those. You need to see a check mark here in the system status, and for the TLS certificate. Go to System, then TLS Certificate, and click on Provision. If you click this, your certificate will be installed automatically.
After installation, I've explained all the steps here. Once it's installed, if you want to create a user, you can go to Mail from here, then Users, and create a new user. I'll show you here, I'll enter Bacchus. I'll paste the domain name here, set a password, and click on Add User. See, the mail user has been added. Some users are already added. If you go here, you'll see some default accounts like Admin, Administrator, Postmaster, and other system emails are already created here. After that, when you go to External Access, you'll find your SNTP details and other information here. Now you'll open your mail tester and test your SNTP there. So here we go to the SNTP tester and open mail tester from here. Because you need to check your score, how high your score is. The host name of the mail server is this. So I'll paste it here. It uses port 587. See this, and from here select the security type. For the user, I'll use the info account we created earlier. Let's enter it here, info. Or we could use the one I just created, Vikas. We can use either for the from email. And this is my password. Let's copy it, paste it here, enter the mail tester's email address here, and click on test it. As soon as you click test it, see, it has sent the email. Now we click on check your score. Now let's see what score we get. When we check here, we've already fulfilled all our requirements, so let's check our score. Look here, you've received a perfect 10 out of 10 score. When you click here, it shows the from email. And here it will show you all the details like SPF, DKIM, and mark records. It creates these automatically. If you want to check this, go to System here, click on External DNS. And here it will show you all DNS records, TXE records like SPF, DKIM, whatever it is set up. You don't have to do anything manually, it does everything automatically. I've explained all these steps here through screenshots, showing you what to do and where. For example, if you want to open Roundcube webmail, you add slash mail after slash admin in the URL. As soon as you enter slash mail, Roundcube will open. You can log into this mail interface using your username and password. Click on Login. This is your webmail interface where you'll be logged in. You can send emails through it as well. We've also tested SMTP here. You can use the same SMTP details in any software or mailing service to do bulk mailing from there too. I've explained everything to you through screenshots, so please review them carefully. I'll also upload this video on YouTube, so please. Subscribe to my YouTube channel because many more videos related to email marketing are coming soon. Watch them completely, and I've also covered many other email servers previously. I've already told you about them, so make sure to check those out too. You'll find all the commands and instructions on my website. You'll get the link in the video description. Also, if you go to the services section, you can find options if you want me to set up a mail server for you or if you need personal training on how to set up this mail server.
I provide all those services here too, so you can check out all these options from there.